Welcome to a world full of imagination. Movies, television, music, art. All of it is made possible through the work of creators and artists. These people spend countless hours of hard work to come up with these ideas, which gives entertainment to many people all around the world. This cat drawing is Zane's intellectual property, his original creative work. Intellectual property like this is protected by copyright law, whether it is music, movies, television, art, or anything else. Okay, now imagine there is something that is not Zane's, such as Peter Griffin from Family Guy. If he or other artists create something using Peter, they cannot sell or distribute these products. Our use of this IP is considered fair because we are using it in a transformative way. However, an everyday problem that we currently face in our country is the unlawful theft of intellectual property, otherwise known as piracy. Piracy is the illegal use or distribution of someone else's intellectual property. Oftentimes, this comes in the form of people streaming or downloading movies, music, TV shows, or video games without paying for them. Piracy is comparable to stealing physical goods since the creators are not paid for pirated copies of their work. Here is what Joseph Rivers, a professor of music and film studies at the University of Tulsa, has to say. We have come, become accustomed in the age of the internet to grab things free. We can download it and it's great. A lot of stuff is available to us, but we tend to want to just receive this for free and not have to make a commitment to pay any amount of money or to return for the use of this material. When people download or stream content illegally, the creators of that content do not earn the money they should have. This can discourage artists from creating new material. And it's not just the creator. Um, in a movie studio, if you ever watch the credits listing all those thousands of people who were part of the movie, it's not just the Tom Cruises and Robert Downey Jr.'s who are making $20 million a picture. It's the key grip, the best boy, the special effects, the stunt people, the transportation people that brought the actors from their hotel to the set. All of those people rely on the money generated by the intellectual property. As it is a form of theft, piracy has an obvious negative impact on the entertainment industries. The 2019 U.S. Chamber study estimated that global piracy costs our economy at least $29.2 billion and perhaps $71 billion in lost revenue each year, and job losses between 230 and 560000 each year. The ramifications of this increase as more and more movies and shows are put onto streaming services in which they are easily accessible to pirates. Despite its issues, some people have a more positive view of piracy. We interviewed Robert Spoo, a professor of law from the University of Tulsa, who gave us a different perspective. The pirate economy is a complex economy. There's some evidence that piracy of IP adds viewers who would not otherwise have watched the show. Because now more people are exposed via piracy to that show they might not otherwise have watched. And now the likelihood that they may actually watch the legitimate show is increased. The whole publicity thing or exposure, that's just a way for people to be cheap. And yeah, they think they're doing something good, but paying artists is actually more helpful than giving them exposure. The mortgage company who owns my house, they don't take exposure bucks. With the arrival of COVID-19, people are forced into their private home to enjoy intellectual property rather than going out and enjoying it, such as going to the movie theater or going to clubs to enjoy music. A new data report from London-based analysts called Muso indicates that visits to illegal streaming websites has increased by 41.4% in the United States whenever the quarantine order was given. And now, especially as the pandemic is having a devastating effect on the live music sector, the ability of creators to enforce their rights online is more important than ever. We've got to encourage a respect for copyright, and we've got to encourage the sheer self-interest that the audience can develop in, in, in making sure that the, the economic cycle that creates good new material is being funded by the ability to pay for it. To combat piracy, the government has already put in place new legislation just this last year. Senator Tom Tillis from North Carolina has sponsored the Protecting Lawful Streaming Act, which makes illegal streaming a felony. This act has been controversial, but Tillis has stated that it will only affect those who profit off of illegal distribution, not individual users. While this is a step in the right direction, there are many pirate websites that are constantly used that are based outside of the United States. There have been many proposed solutions, such as regulating Google, and educating people on the effects of piracy. 
I think education is also really important. I, I think someone's got to think twice before they, they stream that illegal, um, you know, property of someone else. We think that the best solution is for the United States to cooperate with other nations around the world to prevent our works from being pirated. To allow our fellow creators and artists to continue to create, we must fund their creations the right way rather than stealing from them.